P-Funk, Parliament Funkadelic. Um, this is basically the way I kind of describe this as a musical force. Um, you know, it's really hard to, I feel like saying P-Funk has two bands is just, it ain't, it ain't really doing it, it justice. But uh, P-Funk is like a whole vibe. It's, mu it's music, it's performance art, it's, um, you know, uh, visuals, it's a mindset. Um, you know, it's just more than, than just records, you know. Uh, you know, the name you want to know, you got to know is George Clinton. George, Cl George Clinton is the leader of, of, of P-Funk, but P-Funk is two discreet bands, right? Number one, you have Parliament. Parliament, um, you know, this is more of like the funk group. The um, more of like, you know, um, you know, using more modern tools like synthesizers, um, really heavy bass lines, um, horns would be smoothed out, and it's just funky. It's just real funky. And then you have uh, Funkadelic, um, which is like on, on the more psych rock tip, the more psychedelic, the more rock, the more heavy, um, you know, strings and, and guitar guitars and all that stuff. Um, you know, longer, like, jam, jam band type songs, you know, like 8, 12, 14 minute long songs, uh, whereas par Parliament, you know, is more like four minute songs, five minute songs, you know. Um, so yeah, your funkadelic, the more psychedelic uh, part, you know, style of the group, and then uh, Parliament, which is the, the funky, the funky edge, you know. So the names you want to look out for, obviously said George Clinton, George Clinton, uh, was a leader of the movement, leader of the groups. Uh, he was the vocalist. Um, George is a very talented songwriter, um, musician. He got his start um, in Motown in Detroit, writing music there. The other name you need to know, um, one of the greatest things to come out of Ohio <laughs> is Bootsy Collins. He was the bass, uh, bass player. Now, a lot of these, um, you know, people who played in um, P-Funk, you know, they played in the James Brown band. I mean, they, like, like uh, Bootsy was a, a bass player um, in the James Brown band uh, when Clyde Stubblefield was the funky drummer for the James Brown band. And then lastly, um, you, know, you know, there's other names you need to know, like Eddie Hazel and, and stuff like that. But the, 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 the three you need to know is Bernie Worrell, who, who played the keys. He was the piano um, keyboard player, and he played the synth. And the synth became sort of... Um, the sound spe specifically that Parliament was known for having, but you know, transcended into um, G funk music. Uh, yo, they were known for, and I, and I've seen them live. I saw them live. I think when I was thirteen, and not to date myself, that was nineteen ninety three. Um, but you know, well after you know their heyday, but they got revived, you know, by G-Funk music. I mean, we look at the movie Copyright Criminals and you see George Clinton in there. What revived their touring and musical career was the fact that G-Funk music put them back on the map. Um, but yo, their shows were bon bonkers. Like even in the 90s, even up until the last couple of years. I mean, George just retired from touring and dude's got to be 80, um, you know, uh, and so, yeah, the done touring, performing, but man, um, and their shows in the 70s were crazy, um, just wild. I mean, you know, coming in on the mothership, flying in on the mothership, landing on the stage. I mean, just like really performance based stuff, theater, you know what I'm saying? Um, and the important thing about P-Funk is it's more than the sum of its parts, meaning you have all these like components, um, band members. Um, you know, offshoots, um, you know, all of it, but it was about the whole vibe, you know, the whole of P-Funk, you know, that included everything. Like I said, the music, the ideology, the party, you know, um, vibe, the, the um, you know, Afrofuturism kind of vibe in there, um, the culture, the art, all that stuff was like created it as a movement, you know what I'm saying? It was just more than music. Music was a major part of it, and it's probably the part, you know, the, the living legacy of the group in so many ways is, is the actual music, the music, because that's, we have 
artifacts of that, right? Like records and tapes and eight tracks and, and, and stuff. And that, and that music lives on in G-funk music and, 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 and music that sampled it. But yeah, like coming out the mothership, just really wild shows uh, and a real, real, real wild, wild crew, you know, and they did, they did their thing. And these are some of, of the greatest, um, you know, black musicians of the, of the era um, that came together to form this collective and minds, you know, in so, in so many, in so many ways. Um, George Clinton's a, f a fucking genius, you know. Um, so if, if we want to look at like P-Funk though, like the sound, the music vibe, it's party music. It's just straight up a party, whether it's Funkadelic um, or Parliament, you know, it's, it's a party vibe. Like you go to, you know, P-Funk to get funked up, you know, like you, ex it, it's about having a good ass time, you know. Um, but if we look at sort of, you know, again, like, the thing about George is he's really adapted and adopted in so many ways throughout time, um, you know, and, and he's definitely one of like the old, older heads, older generations that didn't look down on like hip hop um, producers and beat makers and, and just the, the music of it. He, 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 he embraced it, you know, um, but, you know, whereas like uh, P-Funk, their, their style changed over time, you know, to kind of keep up with what was going on or stay ahead, you know, in so many ways. But there's some things you can really pull out of it, consistencies. Banging drums. Always had some really pumping drums, knocking drums in, in P-Funk, but always very simple. Um, you know, really not, um, not real wild, uh, you know, rock, rock drum solos and stuff like that. Um, not super, you know, complex in the pocket, you know, type, uh, you know, Clyde Stubblefield drumming, you know, um, just real simple, almost like hip hop sounding drums, you know, but played live. Um, slapping, bass lines, sliding and distortion in the bass lines. And that was kind of what, you know, um, Bootsy Collins is known for. Um, you know, slapping the, slapping the strings, sliding the strings. Um, Parliament specifically known for very catchy horn sections, um, you know, like almost like pop, pop melody type horn sections. Um, and a major emphasis, emphasis on the synth, whether it was synth produced bass lines or synth melodies or a little bit of both. They used synthesizers way before other people were embracing them.